Hello and welcome to another room here on Try Hack Me. We're gonna tackle the one called Agent T. It is kinda new, it's two days old, and I haven't solved it, and basically let's just do so. So the machine is up in 17 seconds, and let's just start up our usual suspects here. So the in map scan. I'm gonna write in map. The way standard version and standard script, and then I'm gonna copy paste the IP address and run it. Now we didn't get anything back. It was I don't know. Is it up? It is up. So there's a slight chance that we're just gonna try one more time before let's see one more. This is it. All ports. No. So let's try with the no ping. So now that we got a no ping, we got port 80 up. So let's go ahead and just access the web page. And it doesn't seem like to be ill. Oh, there we go. So we have a um, an admin dashboard and we see an overview of earnings and you know different kind of statistics I'm just you know looking at the side right now this is an easy room by the way you know I I, I wanna make it not too fast but let's go ahead and just click some buttons not found dashboard not found Okay, so it's inactive, most of the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this one does exist. And blank page does exist. That doesn't exist, and tables does also not exist. So it's like, almost nothing exists. We have a, another link up here in the bottom. We have the uh, profile settings activity log and logout let's just try and log out and it doesn't really seem that that works either so we are kind of left with the <sighs> a somewhat not functional index page let's take the ip address now go back to another window and run gobuster now i don't really know what kind of you know is this php or what is it we could probably go and find out so let's just um, point to the red list and then do the buster directory medium Let's see if we can if we can find something out here. So let's go and, and just look at all this. I'm gonna search for words like PHP. We didn't see it. So what about JSP? No. Well it seems like this is just a blank whatever. And there's not much information on what this actually is. Just doesn't say much. So let's go ahead and start the GoBuster scan, just like that. Um, that's kind of weird. We just see, no. Negative status for four. So wild card. Uh, Let's say wildcard switch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We all just, you know, we're just gonna get a lot of. So let me just see. No. Um, so it says for server turn states code the match provider option. 
Return and Ethernet to continue, please exclude the status code or the length. Okay, so let's exclude exclude the the length four two one three one, and that didn't help me at all. Is there something that I missed on this? So, go buster, exclude length, wild card. Uh, isn't that what we just. Oh, oh. Hmm. Kind of weird. We can also just um, try that. I know that's gonna do any different. Let's just try it. It seems like this is working a little more compared to the other. Let's go back to Nmap one more time and just. If I have a hunch that we're gonna get some mixed results from this server. So let's just see if we get that. No? What about an old port scan? So let's let, let it run. So it's up now and it doesn't really seem we get anything. So if you are at this particular stage here right now that I am, now I'm not gonna use a lot of time you know, digging further because I, I, I probably have a, a hunch about what's going on here. Now we have access to the panel here, as you can see that. And we don't really know what's going on. So what we could do is, is open the, um, the the inspector tool and then you know refresh something on the get. And just basically look at whatever get parameters or HTTP protocol parameters there are and see if we can get some information from this. Now the response itself is probably a little more interesting so let's go see if we can find the the slash and the, the header here and what you see down here is that you find this powered by and this is some sort of a name probably could use so let's copy this because we know this is a this is this is probably some sort of CMS system that doesn't work and, and we need to find a name and I'm pretty sure that we're gonna find an exploit so we can do something like upload or whatever. But it did say PHP on the, I just didn't wanna use that as you can see. No, it was one step, for, anyways, it, it did say PHP. So let's go ahead and, and, and open a browser and just type PHP dev. Now there is something going on here and user agent T. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So there is a particular, probably that's why, remote code execution. It does say version 1. Point. Okay, so we can probably use this. So if that was it, we would probably have the exploit here. And the exploit itself looks like that we can... Uh, yeah, we... It, it does read the user agent in some way and then execute the code. You know, I, I, I don't know how they programmed this, but you know, they they probably did something in PHP where they can, you know, read the uh, the user agent in some way and then it's going to be uh, interpreted and executed. So what we're going to do now is probably just take all this code here. This is um, Python code. So we can just take all this and basically, well, I guess we're just gonna go to the terminal here. Oh, inside Metasploit. And touch a file called agentg.py, or just agent.py, I guess. I'm going to eight into eight, eight. <laughs> going to agent, no, pi. And paste all this 
And then basically just do python3 agent.py and enter the full host URL. So we're gonna take this here and then go back and then say what is that it so we whoa we root okay so root uh, we need to find a flag I don't know where it is to be honest I I just you know haven't really was too fast we already root so it was really really fast um let's 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 fire off a command that can that can find a a, a, a flag so let's go uh, find I have a node here and say name and then flag I guess is is, is the one and then let's uh, output all the errors to dev null basically and let's run this thing now it didn't find anything. Um, whoops. Let me write this correct. Yes, I did. We can also f look for other things like so instead of you know flag. Whoops. I need to paste this in the document because this is an awful shell I have. Um, Let's try variations like text and root. So let's take this first and just paste it in. Oh, really? Uh, I, is it there? Hmm. So maybe we should just cut out like this flag that's text and that actually give us the flag so we can paste it in and finish up the room. So I want to say it was really easy this room. I haven't I didn't really count on 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 getting, you know, root just by, you know, exploiting something really fast so it, it it didn't really i was like whoa we got to 12 minutes so i i i guess i just talked about different kind of things and we talked about reconnaissance and, and looking for stuff and then in the end it was all quite obvious and this is using 12 minutes to find an exploit is nothing it's like it's like it's like that so so we're gonna say like um yeah I, I hope to see more rooms like this, but maybe just with a few more, you know, a bit more meat in the bone. That would be nice. So, hope you liked the video. See you again online and have a really nice day.